Okay, we're here in Montgomery, New York. This is the original location of the Orange County Choppers Custom Motorcycle Fabrication Shop. They started out in 99, um, actually doing the motorcycles. Um, of course, they became worldwide known, television personalities, etc. But this is where it all started. And just prior to that, they were involved in ironworking, metalworking, fabrication, welding and things of that nature but this is where it all actually originated uh, as far as being an established uh, custom motor motorcycle shop then they expanded from there and they grew um, they had a small retail shop just down the road I don't think a lot of motorcycle work was getting done there but it was more of a retail clothing accessory. Then in Newburgh, they built the 92,000 square foot operation where the Learning Channel, uh, or Discovery Channel, um, filmed the actual uh, reality show. We will be looking at that as well. All right, so this plaza right here, just about a mile down the road from the original machine shop, is where they had their retail store. Um, once their success started to grow a bit with the motorcycling, they decided to do merchandise, t-shirts, belts, keychains, you name it, Orange County Choppers had it. And they decided to put a little retail shop in here. It's no longer here, um, but it was pretty much right in the center here. And you could come and look at some bikes on display and buy any type of merchandise that you you know that they had out at the time. But uh, this is just down the road, and then on the same highway we're on, it's where the huge manufacturing establishment was built, and we'll take a look at that too. It's more of a historic overview of what's left, um, but. We'll capture it before one day it's all gone. All right, here we are outside of what's known as the headquarters of the Orange County Choppers organization. I should say former because it is now empty. It's up for sale. It's been bankrupt on. Um, and... The American Choppers or Orange County Choppers have been recognized since the late 90s. Um, their popularity peaked in about 2007, but quickly after, things started to go downhill. Um, but it is located in Orange County, New York, uh, Newburgh specifically, not far from their old retail and the original shop that we saw earlier. Um, this is an incredible building. Um, it's empty now. I like to dig around, but I'm just going to do some kind of quick surface, you know, looks. Um, they used to have the cafe. They had their own line of food and drink and, I guess, probably some entertainment at times. Um, this is a 92,000 square foot building. All the filming was done here. They had a big retail space out front. And just get a little peek. It's pretty much empty at this point. Oh yeah, totally empty.
I'm sure at one point this building isn't going to remain as the OCC empty building. It's going to be sold, probably changed in some fashion. Let's go around front. Nothing left in there. Absolutely nothing. I'm gonna come back and look at that. That's just kind of landscape of the OCC design. This is a big operation at one point. And here was the cafe. I'm gonna get a look on the side of the building because that's where can see it from the highway oh yeah the glass logo on the side See if we can get a some sort of view from here. Eh, somewhat. Let's get a look at that logo from from the front. There we go. Look at that such a waste this entire operation and as big as it was and as successful as it was ended up where it, where it did um, I guess things happen or whatever but it's kind of a neat notoriety thing for this general area of the Hudson Valley and a lot of people traveled here from all over the country just to come and check it out when it was in full swing see what else we can see here just the back of the building Somebody decided to dump their personal junk here. Must have been a loading dock area type of thing. Kind of goes down into a pit. See much. It's kind of hard to see in there. Not sure what that is on the ground. It's just basically the back side. You can actually see right out through the front where we were looking earlier. There it is, this mammoth building that used to be quite an operation. It's no longer even a thought. Sure, up there were some of their offices or 
different rooms for clerical, accounting, etc. There's a little basement type of thing. Here. Oh, look at that service entrance. Oh, they got it taped off. We're not going to be able to see, are we? No, we can't see. Orange County Choppers also produced the Schwinn Stingray bicycle, the chopper bicycles, and they were pretty neat. They were available in retail, and a lot of people collect them, and, you know, a little bit out of the realm of motorcycle, but more into bicycle. I thought they were cool, too. There it is. R.I.P. O.C.C. Oh yeah, let's check a look at this uh, little land landscape thing. It's kind of neat. It's really cool. I think I'm gonna have a brick out of here. There it is. Hope you've enjoyed just looking at this abandoned place. I kind of like exploring and looking at things. And like I said, one day, this may not even exist as it looks now. And it could be a long time from now. It could be short. It just, you never know. So we captured it and did a nice little walk around of the building and the entire area. And there we are. As one last uh, follow-up note to this OCC story, this building right here on Stone Castle Road in Montgomery, New York, once was for Paul Jr. Designs. After he left OCC and had a fallout, he actually started doing Paul Jr. Designs here. And uh, this is the building. He's no longer in there as well. He does have a shop out in another spot in Montgomery, which... I will add on when I get out there. Um, but this is the last building he was in doing his, he was still on, he did a TV show at that point. He had a little series going where they were actually making bikes in this shop and um, after Orange County Choppers had ended, this is where it all happened at that point. New York. It's pretty much a trucking industry at this uh, level. The road is all industrial trucking and stuff like that. There it is.